Hi guys, it's Renaissance Man. I got a new pedal, the Boss MD500. Now, I love this pedal. At first, I wasn't sure, but I didn't want to buy 20 pedals for modulation effects. So, I'm going to show you um, some basics right now, and then I'll get into the, um, the presets later. So, right here, um, the way this pedal works is you can run the effects individual and parallel or at the same time. So here, um, these B pedal will be the below the second one, which is chorus. Now, when each effect, there's two ways to change the settings. So they call these patches. The first thing you can do is you can change the knob here. So here you have the different settings. Like this one is ring modulation. So this is called ring modulation. As you can see, it makes a very interesting effect. Now, the way you know what setting you're on is in the top screen, um, it's on A. If we go to click on B, it will select B, and B we can change the setting to slicer. So B is now on slicer. But the thing you have to do to change that, you have to use these buttons. So these toggle buttons, and you gotta go edit. And the second way you can change the setting, if you go to a patch, they call them patches. You go edit, and then you can change with the rate button the effect. So here is phaser. So we're on phaser. I'm still learning this pedal. So now if we go to phaser, um, and we test these effects out. Okay, so we're on um, slicer. So I'm not going to get into using both pedals at the same time. I'm going to have to make multiple videos for this. So Slicer is interesting because it lets you do something like this. I like Slicer and we just looked at Ring Modulator. And uh, if you want to change the settings, you click on the little edit button here. And that will bring up a menu and you can go and you can go with the um, up and down arrow keys and at ed edit um, here is how you set your your work workflow your uh, parallel and you can change the settings with these knobs the rate knob will change these series parallel so if you series um, series will let you I think use them separately and you would just do right the little right button to exit so now we're in series so now I turn the A off it's not working but we'll see what's going on here um, maybe there's oh stupid me I didn't have the volume turned off so if you go back into the um, there's a these buttons let me explain what they do this is the rate value button so this will change your settings. So here are the, the hertz value of this. Um, the next one, the depth button. You can change how much depth you wanna go. And then the one thing I, I had to get used to on this versus analog pedals is the uh, different electronic modulation effects is different than on analog. So this is a phaser. too much dust on my pedal I gotta clean it um, this pedal I will warn you it's a great pedal it has a learning curve but it has MIDI and a lot of uh, features I'm gonna do a series on this pedal because it's that awesome um, I was looking at this and the other um, pedal the Strymon but the Strymon um, was more and I did like the sound of the sounds on this one better um, and you also have a tap tempo button um, and then you can create your own patches and things like that. The settings you can use here. Um, 
No, what's cool is if you go edit and you go up and you edit the patch, you have different types of phasers. This is the default guitar phaser. You also have a bass phaser, B. So if you play bass, you also have script. Script is based on the MXR script pedal. And the quality of the fidelity is really good on this um, pedal. Now you also have what's called banks, and you have I think 99 banks, and you can edit this. So you can go parallel, series, um, um, insert, uh, switch, foot, if you have an extra external MIDI switch controller, sync, um, you can do all sorts of crazy things. Um, and uh, so you can do uh, series or parallel. Usually I use one effect at a time. Um, and then for the patch, you just use these right buttons um, to edit them and exit them and then up and down and you can do the edit. Um, and you have different settings here you can change um, using the rate knob. So if you want it back. So what's cool about this is this is the note beat per minute. And then you can also change this by what type of note you want to use dotted. Uh, eighth note or you want to use dotted eighth note or sixteenth note or whatever um, then you can exit out of that to save it and then control uh, you have a if you do the edit on a control so you have this is how you assign your foot switches um, because the manual is okay but it's not that great I had to kind of learn this on my own um, so you have different functionality. You can do, you know, different settings, how you want to assign your, this tap button, tap controller button. You can set that. Um, you can set your uh, control functions. Oh, I need to clean this pedal. It got so dusty in just a few days of owning it. Um, so there's all kinds of menu options here. And my only complaint really with this pedal is the menu diving kind of is a pain. But any of these combo pedals, Strymon is even worse. I thought the controls on Strymon were horrible. Um, Strymon's a great pedal, they sound great, um, but they're just really not user friendly. So here you can assign different switches. Um, I haven't really gotten into this because I don't really need it, but if you're really into a signal chain, you can do that. The last one is system, which is important. You can go edit here. This is your screen settings, your loop settings, your bank mode, um, all that stuff, your knob settings, pedal actions. Um, in this in foot switch mode, how you want them to operate, the effects in the uh, with these different switches, um, USB mode. There's a lot of stuff I haven't even gotten into because I've just been messing with the effects a bit. And um, it would have cost me like 10 times what I paid for this pedal by each each pedal and just a lot of space on my pedal board. So there's the two ways to change the effects. You can either go in through the edit menu and you can go to edit the patch and you can go up and you can kind of pick what effect you want. So this is vibrato. And you got the different types of vibrato. Prime and scanner. So in the other way you can change um, effects is you can you can turn it here on the knob. You have the different modes. And I find this the easiest way if I'm just doing something on the on the uh, on the fly. So course. So if I just want a general chorus effect, that's nice. Um, you can change the effects level with the E level button on the far right. Um, See, so it's kind of like on my um, Canyon delay pedal, EHX pedal, it's like the effect level. And you can also have the depth. So it seems, and then also you have the different high level.
So you can change all that stuff that way. Um, and also, you can also do um, the type of course. You do the edit, get into the right edit menu, and you change. You have a lot of choices of chorus pedals. Tri chorus, which is my favorite. <laughs> And then you also have the um, CE1 pedal course. And then the CE1 chorus and the prime chorus. So there's that effect. And then um, the, the one thing I really like, if I get out of here, one of my favorite effects, um, filter is really cool. So this is the filter effect. That's like a wah effect, talk box wah effect. Now what's cool is you can hook up a volume pedal and use it like a wah pedal um, with this with this device. And my crybaby gives me trouble because it seems to have like distortion issues, but this one is very crisp. So um, that's filter, and there's all kinds of settings you can you can do. I don't have time to get into it now. The next one is slicer, which I think is a really interesting pedal effect. And what's cool if I put my drop tune pedal on So that's kind of interesting. That kind of chops up your sound. And then if we go to rotary, which is good if you're playing any type of um, Pink Floyd type stuff. So if we go edit on the rotary, Hendrix, or um, so you can change the speed like on the drums, rotary drums, based on the left slurry pedal. And then you can go down here and change the um, effects. Rotary pedals are really expensive and the Leslie um, system is really expensive. So this is kind of a nice bonus. I bought this pedal for the phaser and chorus and other effects. And this is just like a, a supreme bonus because then I can do rotary stuff too. So I'm actually not, you know, it's not the best rotary effect. I haven't had time to really diet, dial into it really. Um, but I'm sure if I spend more time with it, that sounds like the rotary I like. You hear that rotary effect? So the fast rotary is what I want. Um, slow doesn't really impress me. And the name drive, so you can do drive. drive and then you also have the whole thing with the horn which is kind of cool you can you can change the settings on the rotor and horn so that's basically Leslie has a horn and a rotor drum uh, I want one someday but they're heavy and expensive so Hendrix and Pink Floyd use them um, and what's cool is you can do something like this I exit out of this so I'm using both slicer and rotary and now I'm just using slicer and if I disable them that's just rotary so this is kind of cool because you can run two effects at once and this is one thing the Strymon uh, I think it's called I'm trying to think of the name of the Strymon pedal it competes with this the um, Strymon uh, modulation pedal, Mobius. Okay, 
So my biggest complaint with the Mobius is you can only run run effect at one time. So I'm like, you spend you know five six hundred bucks on this pedal, the Mobius pedal, and you can only run one effect at a time. Well, that kind of sucks. I mean, if you want to run two effects at once, this can run two effects at the same time, which I really like. So we looked at filter and slicer. Overtone is interesting. So it's like a pipe organ, it's kind of cool. That's very similar to the Cathedral uh, Shimmer effect on my uh, Electro Harmonics Canyon pedal. Very cool. So that's Overtone. And we looked at Chorus already. And Flanger is interesting. I like Flanger. So if I do a little... Now, flanger is really good, and um, you can go into you can edit the pack for flanger, and you can change all these settings. Um, and what's cool is on this pedal, most flanger pedals are really basic; they don't have all these settings. Um, so that's what's been tricky about learning this pedal, um, and just trying to figure out like you have manual, turbo, low damp, high damp, low cut, high cap, high cut um, pass. So waveforms too, you got different waveforms. So that's that's four. You got to like I think ten. So it's, it's very cool. I mean you got the different filters. I mean, I don't think the other um even the EHX um electric mistress doesn't have this, I don't think. So that's kind of a cool effect. And exit out of that and then the phaser we looked at already which is really good and then uh, classic vibe so you want to do any like type Hendrix type stuff I wasn't really impressed with that one and I wasn't really impressed with The vibrato I really wasn't impressed with. I'm sure if I spent more time in Dowd, it would be impressive. But in the vibrato, I really wasn't. The tremolo isn't that great either, I don't think. So we turned the pedal off. We turned the pedal on. It's okay, but it's not great. And plus, I have to dial it in more. So, the um, tremolo is not impressive on this pedal. The vibrato is not impressive. The classic vibe is not impressive. But what is impressive, um, besides ring mod, rotary, and slicer, and the phaser, and flanger, and chorus, which are great, um, is this little option, which no other pedal has, called Dimension. And I'll show you why. <laughs> This is a really awesome, this is like a syrupy chorus effect. I love this um, effect. It's one of my favorite. And there's a lot of different modes. Um, 
uh, like there's like if you go up there's dimension mode one there's two now if I play a chord playing my cheap guitar and it's not in tune and I'm trying to showcase the effects of the pedal um, so you have all these different dimension modes on it um, and um, and the thing is it is a lot of different modes I mean I have to go through it still I'm still learning it, but it's a really awesome chorus effect And then um, you have the different dimension modes, user mode, um, three, two, four, or whatever. So, and then you got different effects level, of course. Now, if we turn the effects level way up, see what it does. We play if we go exit out of that and we actually turn the pedal off and then we try the effect spacey echo it's almost like a space echo reverb it's amazing barely touch the strings If I do harmonics, like I do a natural harmonic on a 12th fret, and also on say the 19th fret, so the 12th and 19th fret are rich in harmonics. You can also do a fifth uh, fret, which is a little trickier. Seventh fret. So you hear that 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 spacey echo sound is really cool. So um, and of course the funnest effect I would have to say ring mod is a lot of fun. That's gotta be the wackiest effect. That's almost like a synth. And then um, filter is, is one of my favorites too. So I would have to say, I really like this pedal. I, I think it's well worth the money. Um, It's so cool because it gives you so many options in this small little package and not just for guitar, for bass and for keyboards. I mean, I could use it with my sense. I think it's more than just a, a typical guitar pedal. Um, so I'd say it's probably my, my favorite pedal I've tried in a long time. Um, it does have its issues. I'm not impressed with the tremolo, vibrato, or classic vibe effects, but the other eight or nine uh, pedal effects were fantastic and I figure you know, the space I save on my pedal board and, and not having to buy, you know, another 10 pedals um, makes it really nice. And plus you have an editor. I have to do another video on how to use the editor. They have a, you can hook it up to your computer and use an editor to set your patches. So, um, and also you can create your own patches. So this is like some of the patches I've, I've created.
Um, and the way you move up, there's settings on, on that. You can hold these two down and go up banks. So these are, they come with a bunch of preset um, patches that you can try out just to see what the pedal will do. What I recommend is when you first get this is to try the preset patches. I think there's 20 or 30 of them. That's just with the prime chorus. If I kick in both choruses, the chorus is really good on this pedal. Choruses are really good on this pedal. But Boss is one of the best pedal sort of choruses anyways. And then, so this is like the triple chorus effect. And we can go up. I think they have a bunch of different settings. Um, so they have flanger settings you can try out. I have both flangers engaged. And then um, you can go up and just try the presets. The presets are cool. They got all the different settings. I'll do an, have to do another video on the different presets and how they sound. Um, and this is actually the uh, fizzy vibe. That sounds pretty good compared to how I dialed it in, which is not very good. Um, it's still it's still pretty weak though. The, the vibrato is still really weak on this pedal. I don't find it as good as say um, an analog pedal. And this is a good pedal to demonstrate the uh, dimension setting. So that's the dimension pedal, um, the rotary, uh, this is different, this is uh, the wah pedal. So this is using both the ringtone and the overtone. So that's kind of crazy. What's this? 11 is the organ tone. I like overtone. I like for the organ effect, like you can see doing an intro to a song. And this is a, this is like an example of the flanger again. I recommend like experimenting with these different settings as well. Um, then you can kind of get to the flanger setting you want. Um, uh, and this is like using the ring mod again. And then this is the bass line. How cool does that sound like a bass player? So you can go up. This one has a more of the vibrato. It's kind of weak. I'm really not impressed with the vibrato on this pedal, like I mentioned. But you can go through these settings and then you can create your own. You know, um, try out stuff or some of the filters. So anyways, I hope you liked this intro, um, my little uh, intro to this pedal. Um, I would definitely give it a solid 8 out of 10. 
I think it's definitely an awesome pedal. I think it was like 300 bucks, but I mean, I would say of all the effects, um, most of them are really good, except for these last few aren't, I'm not impressed with Charming Little Vibrato or the classic vibe, but the chorus, the dimension, the flanger and phaser are on point. The filter, ring mod and slicer are a lot of fun. Um, and you can do a lot of wah stuff, a lot of wah pedal, which is really cool. And just the, the programmability. I mean, it takes a learning curve to get used to. Sorry for the dust on my pedal. Um, my apartment is a dust magnet, unfortunately. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, I tried a lot of these type of pedals at guitar stores in the last couple of years. And um, I was like, this was like my favorite, overall favorite um, modulation pedal for the money. Um, I like the Mobius, but you can only do one effect at a time. And face it, if you try one effect, and then you try something different, two for the price of one is great. And then also you can program it in so many ways with uh, volume pedal and foot switches and stuff. It's definitely worth um, consideration. All right. Happy Memorial Day, everybody.